said beyond the physical, you said you can perceive you and the universe and you did that almost as me and the universe was one and the perception of that. So most of us can intellectualize the idea of the universe. We can't and we can't experience it. And between the intellectualization of it and the experience of it, you are telling me that all of the and, 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 and the windows that are opened, I am getting closer to the, to the, my relationship with the universe. Can you describe that between the intellectualizing and the experiencing of it and where my relationship exists? See, if you go with the foot scale to measure the depth of the ocean, you will invariably come back and tell me that it's bottomless because it's impossible for you to measure the depth of the ocean with a foot scale. You're approaching the universe with a completely wrong instrument, the intellect. Your intellect itself is an instrument which can only dissect and know things. There is no way your intellect can know anything, perceive anything without dissecting. Without prior, prior information about it, you cannot know. If you see anything new, there is no way for you to know. Now you really want to know your daughter, would you like to dissect her? No <laughs> <laughs> No, that's definitely not the way. But with intellect, you can only dissect her. You will call it analyzing, but it's dissection. Yes. So by dissecting, you can know all kinds of details, but you will not know the real thing. So whether you take a flower or a human being or a tree or an animal, by dissection you're not going to know anything. You will only know the physical parts of it. The sum of this physical part still does not make the whole. So you with the foot scale, you're trying to measure the depth of the ocean. You will come with wrong conclusions. So, I mean, the fundamental... So I'm saying keep that aside and let's talk. Without your intellect, let's me. Let's see. Try, make an effort. All right, I'm going to leave my... because without the intellect, there's no question. <laughs> no. There are, there are questions in the universe without intellect. All right, let me try. Let me try. Without my intellect, nothingness is not a question. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't go into abstract things so like I, that. So, I don't know what to do if I... because the, the, the very human existence right now is a question. There is a longing to know, that itself is a question. Yes. But the longing to know is being right now, unfortunately, channelized through a, an instrument which is incapable of knowing. So I am saying, you have a longing to know, which is a big question mark by itself. Try to direct this question mark without the use of your intellect. Don't sit there and try to dissect me, you'll not get anything. If you cut me, You'll only get what you will find in a frog or a goat, the same heart, liver, kidney. You will not find enlightenment in my kidneys <laughs> If you want to know this, you must keep that aside and still pursue the question. So you have That's to... what she is. She's the question without the intellect. No, no, I'm saying when you go to her, you have to go with your heart. You can't go with your intellect. If you go with your intellect, what is there? One black form like this, what is this? It's nothing. But you ask people who just walked in, it just hits them. It's an explosion of energy. But if you go there with your intellect, what is there? Simply madness. So is madness wrong? <laughs> I thought everybody's trying to be sane <laughs> Okay, so let's not be sane for a while. <laughs> let's be mad. The thing is, uh, human beings are always trying to do mildly insane things because their sanity is so restrictive. 
their sanity is just crushing them within themselves. So they want to do something crazy. They're not trying to do something crazy, they're trying to break the trap of their own intellect. Intellect thinks logically. Within the frame of the logic, they feel trapped, but they don't understand it is they who are building the trap. Even a spider has the intelligence to build a trap for somebody else, not for himself <laughs> right. Human beings <laughs> using their fine instrument of an intellect and building a trap for themselves, and they feel trapped in that logic. Now they want to do something crazy. Essentially crazy means something illogical, something does that not synchronize with the intellectual process. Every time they do that, either to drug, a drink or some other mad act that they do, they're crossing the line of their logic and they think it's great. I'm saying, let's do it consciously. You don't have to do any insane risky thing, you can sit here and live that. I'm saying, someone who builds a trap for himself of his own logic, he's truly insane, but he thinks he's sane. Your very concept of sanity has to change. Mm -hmm.